Thursday, the 4th of August. It's uh, just before 8 a.m. and I'm on my way to the Lysner Forest to meet with Gareth Patterson. researching these Nisner elephants amongst other things for the last sort of 20 years I think um, so it's really going to be interesting to spend the morning with him um, listen to you know some of the stories that I'm sure he's going to share with me and uh, I think that we're in for a couple of walks so he's probably going to jump into my car uh, take me to a couple of spots in the forest uh, where we'll get out and, and maybe go on a few walks and uh, you know he'll be able to hopefully share some of what uh, what he's learned about the elephant movements um, the number of elephants the size of their range um, you know a little bit more about the habitat and what they're eating in that forest so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film I think Gareth probably has reservations about filming for me it's just a privilege to be able to spend time with a guy like Gareth and um, hopefully I learn something new and uh, you know I can share that with you um, maybe on the drive back to back to George so let's uh, let's let's see how it goes um, should be an interesting morning either way Okay, I've just finished up uh, on the forest excursion. What uh, what was meant to be a three-hour uh, forest trip turned into a five-hour trip. So I definitely got uh, got some good quality time in there. Really, really interesting morning. Learning a little bit more about the elephants and Gareth's research. He spoke about the range and the vegetation that they they live on and the, the sort of the area that they live within, which is a massive, massive range of both forest um, as well as Feinbos area we took a couple of you know walks into the forest where Gareth pointed out um, some of the elephant trails that he's uh, he's managed to uncover and we saw evidence of where the, you know the elephants have knocked down specific gates or signs um, needless to say we didn't see any elephants uh, it wasn't that type of tour. They're not, uh, they're not, uh, you know, located in one place and easy to find. Um, I asked Gareth how many elephants he estimates are in the forest, and you know, I think his one of his his estimations a couple of years ago was that there were probably 12, 11 or twelve elephants that he that he'd managed to you know to, to whittle it down to um, based on various studies DNA samples spurs uh, photographic evidence so I guess you know he wasn't committing to a number which uh, which is understandable it's it's almost impossible to do a, a you know a survey of the area it's it's almost impossible to do some sort of you know aerial surveillance of this area and and do a count or a census of the elephant so it really is you know sightings um, spur uh, you know droppings and and photographic or eyewitness accounts um, that allows you to, to determine 
determine you know the difference between one elephant versus another and and really you know come up with an accurate count but it's it's almost an impossible task given the the density of the Feinbos area and, and the forest itself and the fact that these elephants unlike savannah elephants are actually loners they uh, they roam on their own so they're not in a they're not in a herd you know all moving together they're actually you know they, 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 they move uh, they, they move around in isolation so it's, it really is quite a difficult task to pin down exactly how many elephants are out there but uh, needless to say there there's lots of evidence that uh, they're alive and well um, they're moving about in the forest and uh, and yeah it's yeah really really good interesting discussions about you know I guess some of the other things that Gareth is is researching at the moment and He's busy with another book, so I'm sure that uh, you know he will he will reveal all in in time. But yeah, I'm glad I'm glad I spent the time. It was a it was a it was a nice morning out, and uh, you know in terms of birthday presents, I you know I much prefer experiences over over materialistic things. So once again, thanks, Karen, for the birthday gift and. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's an experience that I, you know, I, I'm glad I got to do. So, if you're interested in that sort of thing, if you, you know, if you're, if you enjoy wildlife and you're interested in finding out a little bit more about elephants uh, in this part of the world, Gareth is certainly uh, the guy to speak to. He's the, he's the expert, um, and it's, uh, it's well worth, you know, spending a couple of hours getting to know the man and. And exploring his uh, his research area which is the Nile forest so yeah it's well worth doing if you ever get the chance so maybe you're wondering why I didn't film the excursion with Gareth um, and the very simple reason is I guess twofold one you know those excursions uh, are part of his I guess way of making money that's his IP um, he doesn't necessarily want me to film it and secondly you know I guess he's also a bit of a private person and you know he mentioned you know when I mentioned I, you know, I've got a camera would he mind he said he had some reservations about that so you know I respect that um, and that's the reason why I didn't take the GoPro along for the for the excursion today but I did ask Gareth to sign my my copies of his books uh, which he duly did so yeah, I managed to get that done and uh, I thought that was quite cool of him.